Hello everyone. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to see how we can do statistical analysis or, or more precisely predictive analytics using Excel. But before we delve right into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics in Excel, Power Query, Power BI and Python. So predictive analytics is where we try to predict something based on the data that we already know. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So I, cre I have created a small data set for this purpose, but once you understand the concepts, you can apply the same concepts and transfer this knowledge to any large data set. So let's take a look at the data set. It has five variables, gender, age, income, steps per day and shoe spend. So what this data t is telling us. So we have first, let's, let's take a look at the type of variables. We have two types of variables. One, one is known as the categorical variable, which basically stores the categories and other is are the numerical variables. Okay. So we have age, income, steps per day and shoe spend and the gender is the categorical variable. If you stick around to the end, I will show you a trick on how you can convert the categorical variables into numerical variables. And why is this necessary? This is necessary because most models cannot work with text data. They work with nu numerical data. And that is true if you apply the same concept to any machine learning model or any deep learning model as well. So stick around to the end to see the trick using Power Query. So let's first talk about these you know, variables. So based on the gender, the age, the income and the steps per day, we are trying to predict what will be the shoe spend of a person. So in this case, the shoe spend is known as the dependent variable or the target variable and the gender, age, income and steps per day, they are called the independent variables or the predictors. We are using these four variables, gender, age, income and steps per day to predict shoe spend. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So for that, let's go to the data tab. I'm going to be using the data analysis you know, plugin. If this is not enabled, enabled already for you, then you can en enable it from the options in the file menu. So let's click on this for now. And we'll click on regression. Click on OK. And now we need to give the Y range. The, so the Y range is the dependent variable, the variable that we're trying to predict. So that's the shoe spend. And now we'll give the X range. So we, we want to predict using these variables. So now the model will be built based on this data. Okay. We, I'll leave all the other content uh, untouched so that we focus on the main concepts. And then if you want to know any deep depth on any other uh, you know, the parameters, then do that video. I'll make a video on that as well. So let's click on OK. So we can see now I passed in the category, categorical variable as well. And let's see what happens when I click on OK. You can see it gives me an error because as I mentioned, most models can work only with numeric data, but we'll see the trick in the end of how to convert this categorical variable into numeric data, also known as dummy variables. So let's click on OK and I'm going to modify this. I'm going to remove the column B and let's take from column C onwards. And now let's click on OK. The output range I will select, I'll put it in, in this sheet only so that we can see side by side and let's click on OK. Okay, I had not clicked on labels, so I'll click on labels here. That's why I gave the error again, and let's click on okay. And yes, here are my regression analysis statistics. But let's take a look at this. This has a lot of statistical data. We'll focus only on the key elements here for you to learn. And then again, as I mentioned, I'm only covering the fundamentals here. If you want to learn more on the statistical analysis of each parameter, do let me know. I'll make a video on that as well. But let us take a look at this parameter first, the adjusted R square. This is a, a very important parameter, which basically tells us how much of the variability in the dependent variable can be uh, predicted by the independent variables. So it is 0.92. That means 92% of the variability can be accurately predicted by the independent variable. So that it, it makes it a very strong case for regression. And then we want to take a look at something as this is called the P test, even though it's uh, written uh, as F here is a P test. And if this test actually is less than 0 0.05, that means we have a clear case for regression model. If you want to learn more on why the P test is important and what the P test it signifies, please do, uh, do let me know. These are statistical concepts. Basically, it uh, if, if the P uh, uh, test gives you whether you should 
reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. The null, the null hypothesis either states that whether the variable has any predictive power or not. But I, again, I will explain. I can explain this in more detail if you are interested to know that. But for now, we can take a look at if, if this value is less than 0 0.05, then you have a clear case for a for a regression problem. If this is greater than 0 0.05, then you can stop you know right ahead because the model will not work very well. And then we take a look at the individual p you know p value. So here, this will uh, basically tells you in a very simple manner that which independent variable is going to have a more predictive power. So anything, any independent variable that is less than 0 0.05 again has a very pr a strong predictive power. That means income is the most strongest uh, predictor of the shoe spend, which seems logical, right? If a person is earning more, he may spend more on the shoe. So here are the other uh, the other two independent variables don't have such a strong pr uh, a predictive power. But again, you can do further analysis on each variable. I'm not uh, uh, talking about exploratory analysis in this video. That's a whole new, new topic of discussion. For this, so let's see how, now how we can use this information to, to make future predictions. So here we have the intercept, age, income, and steps per day. So this equation can be interpreted in, in such a way. So shoe spend, okay is equal to the function of steps per day steps into into minus 0 0.002 that is the coefficient or the slope plus the slope for income is income into 0 0.0004 plus h into 0 0.29 plus the intercept that is 212 the intercept means if all the other independent variables are zero uh, a person will spend 212 dollars okay so this is the equation now this is your equation or this is your model and so now let us try to to uh, write it down so that we can make a future prediction Obviously, in a, in in the actual world, you'll have a train validation and and a test set. Here, I'm just trying to show on how we can understand basic regression analysis, and then you can apply this concept to any other problem statement. Okay, so let's uh, form this. So I'm going to write down the variables, the independent variables, say gender, age, income, and steps steps. Sorry, I'm not using gender in this. In this because I've not taken uh, because it has a text data so I have not taken that steps per day per day and if we want to predict shoe spend shoe spend shoe spend so let us uh, fill these values as zero to initialize them and now I'll say let us write the equation as we as, as we have written above so shoe spend is equal to okay that is age Let's put this in bracket to make it more clear. Age into the coefficient of age plus income. Let's put this in bracket again. Into the slope for income plus steps per day into the slope for steps per day. Into okay plus your intercept then that's it your model is ready so let's make a future prediction so if all age income and steps per day are zero a person is likely to spend 202 okay so let's uh, let us make uh, some predictions let's see if a person is around 60 years old and earns around 275 or, or say 300 300,000 a year okay plus the steps per day is around say uh, 8000 is likely to spend 351 dollars on a shoe and there you have your your predicted uh, shoe spend so your model is ready and you can make a future predictions i hope you enjoyed this video on regression analysis and as promised i'm going to show you the trick for how to convert this uh, this variable that is the categorical variable into numerical format also known as dummy variables Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do this. So I'm going to select the area, okay, and I'm going to click on data, and I'm going to say from table.
and it has loaded this data in power query now what i need to do is i just need to add a custom column so i'm going to click on on add column and i'm going to say custom column I'm going to just put one here and click OK. I'm going to add this custom column here. So what if we want to do basically is we want to transform this categorical variable into numerical variables. So whatever other categories, they will be the column headers. And suppose it's a male, then it will have you know values one and zero. If it's a female, it will have values zero one. So let's see how we can do this. We can pivot the data. So let's pivot the data to transform the rows into columns. So I click on gender. I click on transform. I click on pivot column and pivot on which column, uh, uh, so I'm going to say custom. Okay, so I'll pivot this column and I want to count the value from custom. Click on adv advanced options, choose count all, click on okay. And there you have it, you have your categorical variable transformed into numerical variable. So the, categ uh, the categories have been transformed into columns and you have a one zero representation for each category. So if the category is male, it will be one and, and female will be zero. And if, it, and, and, and if it's female, the male uh, you know, column will be zero and female will be one. And this can be applied to any categorical variable. And this, and this concept is known as creating of dummy variables in your data. Okay. I just need to click on home, click on close and load to, and I'm going to load this into a new a sheet so that you can see it. Click on new sheet, click on load. And there you are done. Now again, you can run the model by passing this, since this is all numerical data, you can run the model again and create a new regression model with this numerical data as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the Power Query tip. If you did like the video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment on any other video you would you like me to make or what did you like about this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics in, in different technologies. Thank you.